YouTube, what is going on? I hope everyone is doing well. So as you know, I review a lot of tech on this channel and today I am going to be reviewing something huge. So LG hit me up and asked if I would like to check out one of their new 2020 nanocell TVs and of course I obliged and lo and behold they sent me this 86 inch monster. So today we are going to go ahead and check this out. So let's get into it. So first off, setting this up is definitely a two person job. And I mean, three people would probably be ideal. Just look at the size difference between this and my 55 inch. It is absolutely huge and super heavy. Price wise for this version, you are looking at around 3,500 pounds. But if you go for a more modest size range, the pricing is very competitive. And if you don't need to have 120 hertz, you can even go for the lower end nanocell models with 4K 60 hertz. And if you want to go absolutely crazy, splash all that cash, then you can even pick up one of their 8K models. And I would definitely love to check one of those out, but I'm not even sure how much 8K content is actually out there at the minute. So when it comes to nanocell, that is pretty much LG's mid-range offering sitting just below the OLED range. And the nanotechnology is of course created by LG and basically what it does is use nanoparticles to filter out impure colours and in turn you should get a clean realistic image on your screen. For all the spec heads out there, here's a quick rundown of what we have. We have a 4K 120Hz IPS panel with full array dimming. It supports HDMI 2.1, it's FreeSync compatible for AMD fans, it supports HDR10 Pro, HLG Pro, Dolby Vision IQ and Dolby Atmos. And for gamers we have HGIG Gaming HDR and Ultra Low Latency. Looks wise you definitely can't go wrong, I'm especially digging the dark stand as opposed to the silver I had on other models, it's pretty sleek and even the bezels on this TV are pretty small for the screen size and definitely not too obtrusive. In terms of ports, we have two USB 2.0 ports, two HDMI 2.1 ports, and two standard HDMI 2.0 ports. For audio, there is one optical, and there's also a 3.5mm jack. So obviously, all that sounds amazing. You could go ahead, go to Curry's website, go to LG's website, and read all that nonsense. Basically, what you want to know is what is it like to use this and have something this big in your living room on a daily basis, so here we go. So let's go ahead and start with gaming as obviously it was the first thing I'd done. Luckily for me I have an RTX 3080 which supports HDMI 2.1, so gaming at 4K 120Hz is incredible on this screen. The colours just pop, the blacks are nice and deep and the gameplay is super smooth thanks to that ultra low latency and variable refresh rate. What's more is LG's nanocell TVs even know when you are gaming and automatically switch on low latency mode. How cool is that? Don't fret though if you don't have an RTX 3080 as you can still game at 1440p 120Hz without HDMI 2.1 and those next gen consoles are right around the corner so 4K 120Hz in your living room is coming very soon. I honestly can't describe how awesome playing through a campaign is on this massive screen. It's definitely next level. So if you don't game, don't worry. I mean, definitely worry because gaming is life, but let's go ahead and talk about normal content consumption. So setting up the TV is super easy. Just fire in your Wi-Fi password and you are good to go. Navigating LG's WebOS is super easy, thanks to LG's Magic Remote. You can use it as a pointer, kind of like a Wii remote, or you can even use the onboard controls, or if you're feeling super fancy, you can even search by voice if you wish, as it features a built-in microphone, and it even understands my accent, so basically just do whatever works for you. If it understands my accent, you should have no trouble using it, to be honest. The Magic Remote even has dedicated Netflix and Prime buttons for super quick access, and speaking of quick, this TV flies from program to program with ease and doesn't even stutter. I mean, I couldn't honestly believe how quick it was going from Netflix to Prime to Twitch to YouTube. It doesn't stutter, doesn't slow down at all, it absolutely flies through it. If the included apps on the TV aren't enough for you, don't worry as LG's content store has plenty to choose from, like Spotify, Deezer, Twitch, Prime Video, Apple TV, 
Basically, the list goes on and on, and there's so many apps on there to keep you entertained, including some games as well, just to go ahead and pass the time. Watching Netflix and just movies in general on here has been an absolute pleasure. Much like gaming, the colours are beautiful, it's super sharp, and with that fillery, dimming blacks look nice and deep. Brightness is certainly not an issue that I have experienced, especially in my room, which is super bright. And the viewing angles are excellent, so no matter where you are sitting in the room, you won't have to worry. The best part is you can even adjust the picture to how you want to view it. So if you want oversaturated, you have got it. Standard, fine, or you can use LG's new film maker mode. This basically turns off motion smoothing to allow you to get the full motion picture effects and watch it the way the director intended. And you can even enable auto film maker mode in the settings so that when you're watching a movie it will automatically change over for you and in fact the Alpha 7 Gen 3 processor in this TV has AI deep learning baked in so it can adjust colour profiles based on what genre you're watching, automatically control brightness by measuring surrounding ambient light and even features AI sound by genre by analysing audio sources so it's definitely a smart TV. So in terms of audio the speakers are fine and you can obviously tweak them within the settings but let's face it, if you're going to spend this much on a TV or even go above this and get OLED, then you definitely really need to invest in a nice surround sound system to get the most out of the experience and it's definitely something that I would recommend doing. So that pretty much wraps this up. LG's NanoCell is absolutely awesome, especially this king size model. If you can afford to get one, I would definitely pick one up. All the links will be down below in the description if you want to check them out further. Some things that I did forget to mention is the fact that Apple products are supported here. So you have AirPlay, mirroring, all that good stuff. And you can also control all of your smart home products on the TV as well. If of course you go in and set those up, if that is your thing. So if you have any questions at all, just ask down below. I pretty much reply to every single comment. If you want to test me on that, leave a comment and... I may just reply. So as always guys, stay safe, be kind to each other, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.